In this video, we'll install the hybrid racing fuel rail on a 2012 to 2015 Honda Civic SI equipped with the K24 Z7 engine. Begin by removing the two 10 mm bolts that hold on the plastic engine cover. Next, remove the engine harness grounds. There's two 10 mm bolts right next to the injector clips. Now you can unplug all of the injectors. Use a flathead screwdriver or a pry tool and remove the engine wire harness. Now remove the fuel line. Squeeze the green clip and pull the line off. Be sure to put a rag under to soak up any excess fuel. You can now unbolt the fuel rail by removing the two 12 mm nuts. Now pull the fuel rail off. Sometimes the O-rings get stuck, so this could be pretty tough. Now remove the injectors. You can use a flathead screwdriver to pry off the metal retaining rings. Once all the clips are off, you can now remove the injectors. Now we need to remove the fuel line from the holder. This is kind of tough and it's tight, so stick a flathead screwdriver or a pry tool into the clip and pry up one side. Now push the fuel line back towards the firewall. Once the fuel line is free, pull it forward and fish it under the wires and tubes. You'll need to push this back towards the fuel rail fitting. Now let's take a look at the hybrid racing fuel rail. The kit includes one EFI fitting, two Dash 8 ORB fittings, and a billet anodized fuel rail. Since we're installing this rail with the factory fuel line, you'll need to use the supply Dash 8 plug on the bottom and left hand port. The EFI fitting goes on the right side, closest to the fuel line. Now that you've got the fittings on the rail, go ahead and tighten them. We find it easier to tighten them when the rail is off the car. You can use an A-in wrench or a simple crescent wrench. Just be sure not to damage that finish. Before installing, we'll need to seal the NPT port. Use a 3 16th Allen wrench to remove the plug and we recommend using Loctite 565 thread sealing. Only a small dab is needed. Once 
Once the plug is fully tight, wipe away the excess. Install the fuel injectors into the rail. You can use a little bit of o-ring lube to make it easier. You will not be using the metal retaining rings. Now you can reinstall the fuel rail. Make sure all the injectors are seated properly and push evenly. You'll also need to use the stock fuel rail spacers. Tighten the fuel rail mounting nuts to 16 pound foot. Remove the factory clip, slide it on to the Hybrid Racing EFI line, and snap the fuel line in place. Now reinstall the factory wire harness grounds. There's a few ways to remove the plastic covers and hide the wiring, but for this video we chose to keep it all stock. Once everything's together, Start the car and check for leaks. If everything's good, the install is complete. Good job. Visit our website to learn more about hybrid racing products. Thanks for watching.